Hello everybody. So we're here to do another how-to video for something to do with photography. In this case we're going to be looking at light meters. Um, most cameras, because modern cameras have a light meter built into them. Um, this camera I'm recording this on is a Pentax K7, has a very accurate light meter built into it. But before cameras came with light meters, they, uh, photographers carried light meters on with them. I have two examples here. This one is an old one. It's a Siconic brand um, L6, and this is uh, a GM Laboratories model. Uh, I believe that's made by General Motors. And so what we have, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how these work and how to read the data off of them. Because basically these are just very simple computers in the, the original sense of the word, meaning that they're a, a small, simple device meant to use compu meant to create computations. So here's the Siconic light meter. I'm going to show you this first. So you can see there's uh, right here where my thumb is, there's a row of numbers, and there you go, you should be able to see that. And then there you might not be able to see it, but there's a little bar, a little red dial like your gas gauge in your car would have that goes from left to right depending on how much light the, the meter is seeing. On the front of it you can see those little bubbles that's a plastic or glass, I'm not sure which front, that allows light into the light meter. There's a selenium cell in, in the back here, and as light hits the selenium cell, it creates a little charge, which then causes this little red, uh, there you go, there's a little, the little red indicator to move to the right or to the left. On sunny days, with a Siconic, you would uh, the user would put the front of it down so that less light reaches reaches the, the cell. And the reason for that is because on the computer there are two indicators, open and closed. And so for instance, these numbers here go from 1 to 8. Let's say that it's closed and it's giving me a reading of 4. I would take this number 4 right here, put it next to the closed, and now I know that using 50 ISO film, at f22 it's a 1 50th of a second, at f11 it's a 1 2 50th of a second, but if I'm using, here it is, now if I want to change the ISO of the film, and let's say that I'm using ISO 320, which is an ISO I've never used, I don't know if it's even made anymore, now the 4, the same reading, let's say, 4 it closed, F22 is 1 2 50th of a second. F11 is 1 1,000th of a second. This is a very old meter. It only goes up to a thousandth of a second. Simply because camera, the camera I got this with, that this was originally purchased with, oh, the shutter speed only went up to a 300th of a second. So this is from back in the day when um, mechanical shutters were not able to do uh, high speed. Um, high speeds much above 500. So that's how this one works, and basically the first thing to do is to set the ISO to the ISO of the film you're using, and then catch a reading off of here, take the number, use the number on the dial to correlate with whether it's an, the, the, the front is open or closed, however it is, and then the dot, when you t turn the dial it will tell you your correct settings. This one works similarly, but it's not quite as nice a meter. So taking a look at it, you can see that there's nothing on the front to cover in a sunny day. It just, it is what it is. It will give you, it, it gives a reading, and it goes from 1 up to 20. So that's why this one doesn't need a cover. Now, if I'm, right now it's telling me that the amount of light coming off of a lamp that is off screen is giving it an exposure of 8. I go back here to the other side and the center dial here is fixed in place. So I want to look at the number on the red side here, and that's 8. Okay, so I found the 8, it's right by my finger. So if I'm using ISO 400 film, there we go, I line up the 8 with the 400, and now I know that 1 500th of a second is f3.5, whereas 1 10th of a second is f22, and this goes up to f32 and down to f1.4. Now looking at this another way, let's say that it was telling me I have 16 for the light reading. 
Well, now I line up the number 16 with 400 ISO. There we go. And I know that 1 1,000th of a second is f9.5. 1 50th of a second is f tighter than f32. So light meters were designed to be very simple devices. Pull, photographer would pull it out of his pocket, point it at the scene, or um, point it at a specific object he was photographing, like this lamp. There it goes off camera. And compute the light, uh, the, the light reading from that. And using that, he would then set his shutter and aperture settings according to the light meter, take his picture, and it would theoretically be uh, it, well, well exposed at minimum.